So, to the straight line, y is equal to 8 minus 2x intersect the straight line, y is equal to k, x axis and y axis at point P, Q, R. So, we have P, Q, R. So, P intersect y is equal to k, right? So, Q, this one is x axis. And then R, this one is. So, we have P, Q, R, R is the y axis, okay? So, given the area of O, P, R, so here the area of OPR is equal to 12 unit square. So this one is the origin which is 0, 0. So we need to know the this point and OPRM intersect the y axis. So here we have y is equal to 8 minus 2x, right? So we can rearrange it minus 2x plus 8. This one is y is equal to mx plus c. So here we can see that we have this one so we can see that this one is c or the y intercept so we know that intercept the y axis at r so we know that this point is 0 8 right because this one intercept the y axis so we know that intercept the y axis x must be equal to 0 so now what about p So we see here, if we have the graph here, so we know that this one is negative 2x, that means the gradient is going down, right? So this one is negative 8. So we have this one, which is y is equal to k. We don't know where is it, but it is uh, just to see how, uh, how it works. So this one is y is equal to k. So we know that at this point, the value is y is equal to k and intersect this line. So here, we have y is equal to negative 2x plus 8. So when y is equal to k, so y is equal to k, k is equal to negative 2x plus 8. So our x is equal to, so 2x we bring to other side, 2x is equal to, so we bring k to the other side, 8 minus k. So x is equal to 8 minus k divided by 2. So now we have this coordinate which is x is 8 minus k divided by 2 and then our y is k. So now we have the three points and we have the area. Now we can calculate. So area, so area is equal to half. So OPR, right? So if you start OPR, we need to come back with O is equal to 12 unit. So this one is 0, 0. So P is 8 minus k divided by 2. This one is k. So our R is 0, 8. And then our O is 0, 0. So here, up and down, we multiply 0 times k, so half, 0 times k is 0, so 8 minus k over 2 times 8, so plus, right, so this one will be 8 minus k over 2 times 8, okay, 0 times 0 is 0, so down to up is minus, so this one minus, 0 times anything becomes 0, k times 0 is 0, 8 times 0 is 0, so minus 0, this one is 0, 0, 0, 3, 0, right? You don't even have to write, which is equal to 12. So you can multiply 2 to the other side, you get 24. So here, 2 and 8 can be cancelled out, become 4. So here you have 8 minus k times 4 is equal to 24. So you see here, you have modulus, right? So modulus, so never mind, you just expand first. 4 times 8 is 32, so you have 32. 4 times negative k, you get minus 4k is equal to 24. When you want to open the modulus, it must be to answer because modulus, the answer will always be positive, right? So when you remove, it will become 32 minus 4k is equal to 24 or 32 minus 4k is equal to negative 24. So this one, 4k is equal to, so you bring to this side and 24 to this side, 32 minus 24 is equal to 8. k is equal to 8 divided by 4 which is equal to 2. So this one we bring to this side, become 4k and 24 to the other side, we get 32 plus 24, here we get 56. So k is equal to 56 divided by 4, here we get 1, 4. So we know that either this one or this one. But this one said the smallest value of k. So between 2 and 14, 2 is the smallest one. So we know that k is equal to 2. 
So B, the coordinates of P. So the coordinate of P is just now. When Y is equal to K. So we calculate just now, right? When Y is equal to K, X is equal to 8 minus K divided by 2. So basically, so we know that K is equal to 2. So this one is 8 minus 2 divided by 2. And this one is 2. So 8 minus 2 is 6 divided by 2, 2. So the coordinate of P is 3, 2. So this one is P, where P is 3, 2.